Hey, hi everybody. Today is uh, Saturday, August 23rd. Um, Barack Obama is picking his vice presidential uh, candidate today. People are waiting to hear who it's going to be. The rumor is it's going to be um, Joe Biden. Remember Joe plagiarism Biden? Why would he pick that idiot? Uh, okay. I want to talk about uh, some stuff I discussed in previous, in previous videos I, I have in my series here on YouTube. One of them had to do with Dr. Eric Whitaker, a Harvard friend of uh, Barack Obama, who with the help of Tony Resco was, has been appointed to uh, very good jobs here in Chicago. One of them was uh, Director of Public Health, another one a huge job with the University of Chicago Hospitals. So Barack's really helped this guy, really helped him. Speaking of the University of Chicago hospitals, you know, Michelle Obama, Barack's wife, that's who she has her job with. She's paid 317000 to be a vice president on leave. She's on leave. And in my video, you know, I kind of, in the other videos regarding this, I kind of thought to myself, why is the hospital doing this? Why do they give Barack's wife the big job? Why do they help Barack's friend? And today I found out why. The three of them, um, Barack's wife, the vice president there, um, Dr. Eric Whitaker, and uh, Barack's uh, political strategist, David Axelrod, they came up with a plan for this hospital where they were going to take all the people who didn't have insurance, you know, who clog up the emergency room there, who can't pay their bills, who the hospital is forced to wait on reduced reimbursements from, as opposed to getting their money from the insurance company quicker. All these people who clog up the emergency room are now going to be bussed out, and they're going to be taken to uh, other health care providers, hospitals of lesser stature. This is what the three of these people devised. Apparently, if you were to walk into the emergency room there, there would be a lot of uninsured black people because this hospital is on the south side of Chicago, where, which is in the proximity of where a lot of those people live. But the three of them devised a plan to bust them all out, which of course is going to vastly improve the uh, hospital's finances because uh, they will be able to take care of people who do have insurance and who are private pay and they don't have to wait for their money from the government. So this will justify Michelle's $317,000 salary. This will justify the hiring of Dr. Eric Whitaker because, yeah, you know, this is a hospital's worst nightmare is to have an emergency room every second clogged with people who can't pay. So this is what the Obamas are doing for them, for this hospital. They're, get, they're alleviating that problem. The only problem is Barack, who obviously is a black man, is uh, doing a disservice to, the, to black people who, who can't pay their bills, who, who would frequent that hospital in the event of a medical emergency. He's saying to the hospital, hey, I don't care about these people. Let's get them out. Let's dump them somewhere else so that your bottom line is improved. Thank you for hiring my wife for 317000 a year. Thank you for hiring my friend. And yeah, these poor black people who uh, don't have private insurance, let's get rid of them. Bust them out. Put them somewhere else. This is the deal. Now I understand. Thank you.